Good morning, students. Welcome to the online classes of TMPS, class 10. Today we will be discussing about the second part of natural vegetation in India. In the first part, we have discussed about the equatorial type and the deciduous type. Today we will be continuing about the types which are left, and then I'll be talking about what are natural vegeta uh, vegetation, how they are declining, and important definitions which are there in this chapter. So next is basically tidal type. What are tidal type? Tidal type basically are the type of vegetation which are found in the areas which have tides. You have understood with the name of tidal type. Tidal type has different names that are very important. You should remember the different names of the tidal type that is phenometophores and they are also known with the name of mangrove forest along with the tidal forest. There are different names so that you should remember the names otherwise you will be getting confused like what are the questions they have been asking because they are known with different names. They are also known with another name that is littoral forest. So remember the tidal forests have these different names. These tidal forests are basically forests which are having hardwood trees and they are a fine example there of the vegetation which are found in tides. Basically, they have breathing roots. They have two set of roots. One which is holding in the ground, which holds and supports the plant or the tree. And the second is the breathing root which is coming out of the ground. The breathing roots are basically those which help in the breathing of the plants and they help in growth of the plant in a proper manner. That is why it is in breathing roots. When there is tides, the roots are submerged. That is why the breathing roots help in respiration. Sundarban Delta in India and the parts of the Kerala where they are covered with the uh, water, they are in, along the backwaters basically in Kerala, they are uh, covering the mangrove forest. They basically yield hardwood trees, they yield hardwood trees which are used for making the boards. Very important, note down that they are helpful in making the boards. Sundari trees is the tree which has been uh, found in the Sundarban Delta, that is why it is known as Sundarban along with the Hintal, Hintal is also another uh, tree which has been found in there and the Gorjan, these are different trees which are found there after that we will be moving towards the desert type vegetation desert type vegetation beta is also known with the name of xerophytic type xerophytic type or the desert type are the type of vegetation where there is lack of water, water is not available in plenty that is why the leaves basically are modified into spines. The leaves are modified into spines. Who modify them? Spines. Mein, so that they should stop the transpiration of water and the water can be conserved. They have long, deep, penetrating roots so that they can collect the water beneath the surface of the earth. Cactus acacia is a fine example of these type of plants which are found in the parts of Rajasthan and parts of Kutch and Run in Gujarat. These are basically the areas which do not have proper vegetation but they are important because they are having thorny bushes and shrubs. After that we have the coniferous type which is also known with the name of mountain type of forest. Mountain type of forest or coniferous forest are those forests which yield soft wood. Abhi tak jitne bhi aapne forest pade the except the xerophytic type they were all hardwood yielding trees but now in the type of coniferous type or the mountain type they have the soft wood which is used in the paper and plywood industries as well as for making the match boxes silver fir is an example oak chestnut maple then pine these are the examples of the trees which are found here what are can coniferous type of forest here the conical shape of the trees are there so that the snow and rain water do not get accumulated in that and that it should fall down and now, here what happens, the leaves are waxy, they have a waxy leaf so that they should have a proper coating and the water should not get into it and ruin the plant and they eat softwood trees. So these are basically found in the areas of Uttarakhand and high altitude so that they are good for making the wine castles as well as match boxes and they are very important for the commercial type of uh, agriculture as they help in the production of the ply boards which are used in the furniture industries. The question arises basically name a tree which is useful for making the railway uh, slippers and it is a scented tree that is deoda. Medicinal plant that is useful uh, for uh, making oils that is eucalyptus. 
So remember these type of questions may be asked in your examinations. Next very important thing, the natural vegetation in our country is declining due to the urbanization, industrialization and this is basically uh, contributing a lot in the decline of flora and fauna. This can be removed or can be checked by planting more and more trees, afforestation should be there, biosphere reserves should be there and there should be proper wildlife centuries so that the animals can be protected. One important definition that you should remember that is city culture. What is city culture? Going down of timber or uh, wood for furniture. That is known as city culture. City culture basically is being asked. Remember this. I hope today's video is clear to you. And if you have any problem or doubt, you can call me or text me. You can also refer the previous video that was part one. Thank you. Have a nice day.